Good morning, it's quarter to five, and we have the focus for bad weather from eastern parts of Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, heading into the Carolinas, North and South Carolina, North Georgia, and that's where the bad weather is uh, already bad. We start under a partly to mostly cloudy sky, areas of clear in the south, and temperatures which by noon should make it to 80. We promised you activity in the northern end of the valley, and looks like by about 11 a.m., Computer says, well, northern end of the valley, we'll see like Carrington, or excuse me, like the uh, uh, Cavalier and Pembina County into Walsh County, line of showers and thunderstorms that'll track into uh, Marshall, Red Lake, Pennington, northern Polk County, and by uh, the 10 o'clock news tonight, move into and dissipate. These are afternoon thunderstorms, thunderstorms that are fueled by the energy of the sun. So when the sun goes down, they pretty much all dissipate. And then tomorrow morning, once again, mid-60s, and once again, showers and thunderstorms focusing on the northern end of the valley at the beginning of the day. But this is going to be a front that will move through. This front will generate some rather potentially strong or severe showers, thunderstorms. With hail, yes, possibly. And uh, then Thursday, we see more widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. Well, in the last week, we have picked up and we've gone past 1,000 growing degree days with the uh, highest number here in northeastern Lamore County and in central Richland County, uh, about uh, 1019. Uh, Sargent County had been in the lead for growing degree days, uh, but uh, hey, uh, Prosper and Kindred, uh, Happy Valley there, uh, 1012. Uh, the northern end of the valley, anywhere from the low 800s to the uh, mid 900s. So uh, we're picking up a lot of growing degree days. Again, conditions are very favorable for crop development, Not except for Sunday. Not much past 85, and nighttime lows very warm. With a line of thunderstorms coming at us from Montana, another area of thunderstorm activity uh, yesterday afternoon and evening in north central North Dakota. Look at the outbreak of thunderstorms yesterday afternoon and in the uh, early hours of the overnight right along Highway 10 across Minnesota and some uh, big boomers there. Things uh, quieted down again once the sun uh, set. From the UP and across Michigan into eastern parts of Ontario and again from uh, the uh, Appalachians back through the central plains back down into the monsoonal moisture in the desert southwest it's raining from yesterday afternoon west of Devil's Lake out around Rugby up into the Towner area and from Walsh into Marshall County all across uh, central Minnesota those strong storms but the heavy rain goes all the way across Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and down into Kentucky and Tennessee. This morning, our air is pretty much totally calm, not moving around much. It is out of the north, but again, there's weather happening to the north, and so we'll not lower the humidity with a north wind. We'll not cool it down much either with a north wind. Look at these low to mid, some upper 60s, Warroad at 68. On the way to the mid-80s today and tomorrow, and a pretty good chance of showers, thunderstorms tomorrow evening, and a few storms on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Looks like we're going to have another hot weekend coming up, especially on Saturday. We could crack the low 90s. All right, where are the markets at this morning, and where are they headed? Scott Shelley will join us after the break. <laughs> 